Hey, welcome back, my fellow investors. This is me, ET. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a self-taught investor who's always looking for ways to increase one's net worth. One of the ways I try to increase my net worth is always on the lookout for a great company. And as you guys already know, I think I found one in Eyeless. And Eyeless is doing what they do best, and that is acquiring companies. And they just finished a new acquisition. So let's take a look at this press release. Another key acquisition for Eyeless Internationals. Now the OTC company Eyeless International acquires Veer Drones, a European manufacturer of Pioneer Industrial Unmanned Aerial Vehicles for Rescue and Logit Logistics. Let's take a look at this press release. This press release came out on uh, January 26th. Uh, if you guys are interested in reading the complete press release, I'll have a link in the description below. All I'm going to do is just highlight some of the key points from this um, press release. Now, Vera Drones develops and, and manufactures UAVs and industrial drone, drones. Now, the company is based in Germany and Switzerland. Now, this technology is the world uh, first in that it delivers the unmanned capability capabilities of light helicopters with competitors of the acquisition acquiring pre-production values valuations of 1.2 billion dollars now keep this in mind that's not saying that that's that's what they've made the pre-production valuation they haven't delivered anything they don't have any any purchase orders keep that in mind all right so don't 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 get fooled just by listening at these these big numbers that they have in here. Just put them in the true context. Now, the company is on track to become the world's largest cargo and rescue drone manufacturer and plans to capture a significant share of the light helicopter market in the process. Now, it expects that the market of UAVs will grow to $1.5 trillion by 2040. Okay, once again, Big number, big dollar amounts, 1.5 trillion by 2040. The key thing that you need to realize here is that the market for UAVs, that is the total market, not just for light helicopters, not just for rescue. That includes any and everyone to include the military. So just keep that in mind. All right, uh, moving down to the next uh, point that I want to emphasize is the two major uh, competitors for VIA drones in the logistics sector have already achieved valuations of $1.2 billion and $1.3 billion, respectively. Now, I believe that these two competitors that they're talking about goes back to them mentioning that Airbus is planning to build a three unicorn size uh, scale up per year, and Boeing uh, recently invested. Uh, for uh 450 million dollars in a flying taxi called whisk so i think that's the competitors that they're talking about uh now vera drones has already created and tested three prototypes and has applied for several patents eyeless has acquired vera drones with the goal of integrating its technology into eyeless existing and planned emergency response solution as well as with that of the upcoming Eyeless acquisitions. The company will prioritize the, regist the registering of a further 10 patents and the obtaining of three type, uh, three type approval certifications before focusing on the aviation certifications. Now, this would enable Vera Drones UAVs to fly commercially in uninhabited areas. Vera Drones is currently regist uh, registering a patent for its revolutionary 3D access airflow system for each rotor, which ensures constant horizontal stabilization during flight. Now, this horizontal stabilization is critical for logistics and rescue application, and is one of the many key differentiators between Vera Drones and its competitors. The company has also developed and successfully tested the world's first scalable body which enables three drones to be connected to each other to form a flying chain. So they definitely have some uh, technology out there that they're getting the patents on that that's definitely could be revolutionary when it comes to, to the field of uh, UA, the, the UAV sector.
Beer Drone started his life by developing a fire and rescue drone, which was designed to rescue vehicles from high rise buildings, you know, in the event of other uh, fires and other tragic events like 9 11's terrorist attack. In the logistics sector, Eilis has uh, initial plans to commence sales to helicopter and drone companies for leasing. It then plans to launch subscription services for cargo delivery by number of flying hours. That's a very smart move. This business model is well suited to, to the logistics sector, and there is already significant interest from the oil and gas industry for the delivery of supplies to oil rigs. Once uh, ILIS has successfully completed the development, testing, and certification of its emergency response drone solutions, which will include its fire and rescue drone, it plans to offer them to the market via sim uh, similar leasing and subscription services. Vera drones will continue to be managed by the, the company founders, which is smart. ILIS will focus initially on the patent certification and the sales and marketing aspect of the business. In other words, running and growing the business. You're going to have the founders who have who developed that technology. That's great. They're going to continue to do that. ILIS is going to run the business here and help uh, uh, be focused on the business development portion of it. ILIS is already working on the improvement of the company's branding and its website. We'll take a look at the website. Definitely needs improvement. <laughs> Eilis believes that this is uh, that this and similar upcoming acquisitions will catapult uplisting plans. Uh, the company will incorporate aspects of Vera drones, fire and rescue technology into its emergency response technologies. Now, I went to the website and what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look real quick at the website and uh, to find out a little bit more about uh, Vera drones. Here's the website. This is the homepage on their website here. Now, if you go here to the website, you can click on about us and it'll take you here where it tells you a little bit more about the company. Uh, they have office globally, really in Germany, Switzerland. I don't know where the third one's at. Uh, it was established in 2018. They have a total of 15 employees. Now, if you go back here and you, and you, uh, click on play videos down here this is what it's going to take you to play videos this is what it's going to take you to it's going to take you to their youtube page and within their youtube page they have four videos total of four videos here uh this one the first one here goes over the various types uh none of those are the actual heavies what i call i call the heavy um uavs uh, the second one here, which is about two minutes and 28 seconds, is the first autopilot uh, test for one of theirs. This is a smaller version. This is a small one. It just looks like a regular, you know, drone that somebody is flying. This third one is a um, uh, what they presented at the, uh, the China Helicopter Expo in 2019. However, I don't believe that that one there actually flies. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I have not seen any uh, videos showing where the heavies are that uh, that uh, M450 actually flies. This last one here is a short video of about a minute, 37 seconds that goes over the capability of this here. And just to kind of give you an idea of that, let's take a look at, and I have a, I have the video right here. So let's play this video. The thing that I noticed about this video is that all those pictures of it are CGI's, computer-generated images. So I, I have yet to find uh, the actual video sh showing that this this is uh, 450 uh, in flight. 
So I haven't seen it yet. So I think they're still working on that. So I'm waiting to see this in actual flight and operations. Hopefully we'll get we'll see something like that soon. Let's take a look at the price action. All right, for Islas International, here's a price action here. Um, we're sitting at, uh, at the time of this video, we were sitting at uh, 29.9, might as well say 30, 30 cents. This here is a stock analysis from Tip Ranks. Um, the stock analysis for Islas International pretty much shows that they have a smart score of an eight. Remember about a month ago, this, uh, my last video, they had an, uh, they had a seven. All right, so now they're at an eight, which is an outperform. However, there are no analyst ratings on this. No analysts are fo uh, are following this or to give it a rating. So this is all we really have is based upon uh, the stock analysts by tip ranks. So there you have it. But you know what? Overall, I really don't know how I truly feel about this acquisition. And the reason why I'm saying that is because let me just go over some of my notes. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the first non-profitable acquisition that the ILIS has actually acquired. Uh, I didn't see anything whatsoever showing that uh, uh, Vera Drones has any type of revenue. I see nothing about hard orders. I know that they have some prospects out there. Um, definitely looks like ILIS is definitely buying the company for the concept as well as for the, the patents. Uh, I'm wondering what, what did they pay for this, for this acquisition? What did they pay for this company? And the, the key thing here, more so than anything else, is with that, uh, with that heavy, that M450, uh, the video showing a CGI, I get it. It's for the concept. However, I want to see this sucker fly. I want to see if it can actually do what it says it, it, it's capable of doing. So, um, just because I haven't seen that and the fact that it still looked like this is more of a research and development uh, investment more so than anything else. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'll, I'll save my judgment uh, uh, for some time. All right. And, you know, time will tell whether or not this was a good acquisition or not. Uh, maybe if nothing else, just for the patents. All right, guys, with all of that said, if you got any value out of this, please hit that like, subscribe, notification buttons. And as always, guys, remember, save, invest, and apply what you know, because knowledge by itself is not power. It's the application of knowledge is power. Guys, I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.